so I've been thinking about last episode. I was thinking about at the very end when Lelouch was laughing. My first thought was Lelouch is going crazy, whatever. Or he look, he did look crazy. Let's be honest. He did look crazy. I'm just thinking about his realization. If I was Lelouch and I was in his position and I found out I had been fighting my best friend since my childhood who's essentially been there for me, who's been there for my um, disabled younger sister, who I've considered to let be her guardian, basically, because I knew that I was going to have to leave and not come back, or I knew I was going away. And to find out that my best friend since childhood has been the sole reason for why almost every one of my plans being the biggest thorn in my side that right there is not only it's funny because of the irony like un, like it's just so unbelievable but I'm thinking also if I was Lelouch this is so perfect for me and it's so perfect for me because I now have the ultimate advantage because I know your identity. I go to school with you. I know almost everything about you. I know you killed your father. I would start laughing too. I, I would be, it would be the ultimate trump card to have. To not only, I know who you are and you don't know who I am. You don't know that I'm zero. Lelouch now has the ultimate advantage. Let's think about this. He has Toto, the man who seven years ago was able to get a, perform a miracle. Who, who is an um, amazing, amazing fighter, amazing tactician, amazing in all these other areas of combat. And he's on my side. I got the JLF on my side. I have the Black Knights. I have Kyoto backing me. I know the identity. And not only do I know the identity, I know the fight, how you fight. Uh, like, Lelouch is an ama in an amazing position right now. And all I could think about if I was Lelouch, I would be laughing because I would be thinking, oh my god. I could, what is the best way to take advantage of this? How can I take advantage of Suzaku right now? This, that piece of information is so great. It's amazing. Now let's talk about Suzaku's identity being revealed to the public. A Japanese man fighting for the ever so holy great superior Britannian, right? Although you guys have told me that he's under a different person. He works for another guy, him and Lloyd are under a whole nother like for chain of command. But let's think about pub the public. You got a Japanese man fighting for the Britannians who has been the key to a lot of successful battles and whatnot. And not only that, you just had the princess, one of the princesses, publicly on camera state she wants this Japanese man to be her knight. Now that she's made that proclamation, he has to do it. Suzaku has already said, we saw last episode, Toto, I am your enemy. Suzaku has picked a side. Because if anything, that was his time to leave the Britannian army and join Toto and go back with them. Because if if Suzaku would have left with them, that would have been a major blow to the Britannian military because they need him. Clearly they need him. I'm not saying Carnelian and them are totally incompetent because they're not. They're absolutely, absolutely not. But what I'm saying is he has proven himself to them in a sense that he is a, a, a he's great in battle. They. Like, he's helped them so much. If Suzaku had joined up, had made that realization while fighting Toto, like, you know what? I need to fight for my people. I, that that would have been the time to stop. That would have been the time to be like, I'm coming with you. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't do that. Suzaku has picked a side. 
So he is officially against the Japanese now, and he's officially against zero, more like he's already against zero. But I'm just saying, like he's made his choice, which he believes is the right choice because he's you know he believes it's the right choice. Okay, but Lelouch is in such a great place right now because that piece of information, knowing who Suzaku is, he's get he could get close to Suzaku. He goes to school with him. That is the ultimate advantage. And I would be laughing my ass off too. If I was like, <laughs> it's been my best friend the whole time. Now, I'm shocked. But uh, in a bigger picture wise, like, this is a great for me. How can I take advantage of this? How can I use this information to further my plans? It sucks that he can't be Nunnally's Knight, whatever, but Lelouch is in a good place right now. Let's see what uh, Lelouch does with this information. I wonder what Cece really thinks about that. It's like they're all connected. Toto being Suzaku's teacher. Toto fighting against Suzaku now. You know, I'm just looking at these images of the opening. I just see a lot of religious symbolism. So is the Gios a religion? Is it? I'm just, I just wish, I just want to know more. I wonder when Jeremiah's going to make his appearance. I didn't forget about him. They got a submarine now? Ooh, Chief of Military Affairs is Toto. Die Hard Reed. I don't mean to be racist, but what's the reason for using <laughs> I understand the JLF concerns about not trusting Britannia and like I get it. Oh brother, Callan's like, you know what, even if Callan finds out that it was Lulu, she probably would be so loyal, she probably would not even care. So we got, oh look at Suzaku in his royal clothes, ooh. Ooh, what's the topic that needs to be addressed? Oh, Suzaku being a Suzaku being an honorary. Oh my gosh, you know they are hating so hard. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, this is so fascinating. People are not messing with that. They do not like that. It's that racism. I just man, I, what? Look at the JLF. Do not like that. They're like, you are Japanese. What are you doing, bruh? Made him a whole night. You know, the Britannians can't stand that. Ooh, they, ooh, it eats them up. They hate it. Look at them. Look at them. Lloyd's over there like. Oh, everybody's like, all right, fine. I guess we'll do it too. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. Not weird, but just, oh, it just doesn't leave a good feeling like. Suzaku's really on the Britannian side. He's gotta be assassinated. Dean. Oh. Oh man, this is like also a clash of cultural differences because they're mentioning Japanese have a lot of honor when it comes to fighting. discrimination against numbers is their policy did you see good did you guys see what she said what is she working on what I'm just curious to like what is she up to oh so you want to give her a job what is that what's, what's that oh oh brother what is Lelouch gonna do because his some of them want to assassinate him. Rightfully so. Like, I get it. Oh, gosh. I. What does Lelouch want to do? A nobleman arriving from the homeland. Well, he wants to capture him. Now, the question is, will they capture him? Stealth effect. Wow. Yeah, right. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Are they going to like have some tension between them now? First of all, Die Hard. 
Slow your roll, bro. I tremble. It's still a new era. Die hard. I'm gonna need you to uh, stay in your lane. Okay? He's doing too much. Oh, God. Die hard's gonna be a problem. And it's like, it's not necessarily you can kick him out. Because you can't trust him to go run his mouth or anything. But... He really convinced Callan to assassinate him? Like, first of all, Callan, you need to listen to Zero. Zero is your boss, alright? Wow. I can see how Lelouch could start to lose a little bit of control of things. Because now there's so many variables at play, like... And people got their own wants on how they want to go about things, but it's just... He's got to keep a tight ship. Ooh. Ooh, watch your mouth. Please, please remember and don't forget, I'm part of royalty now. <laughs> but honestly, they got legitimate concerns. It's the Black Knights. What if he turns against them? Shoot, it's like, why wouldn't he? But that's just not his ideology. He don't agree with what they're doing. Oh! Oh, snap! Yo! I am dead! Suzaki, you just walked right into that. See, he knew Yuffie would tell him to go and don't defend her and go fight. I'm gonna split into three parts. Oh. Oh, he's throwing that in his face. But that's a good point, though. The will of the people. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yo, Lucia so, has such a way with words. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. They're just gonna blast them. Oh! Wow! Oh my gosh! This has got to be a part of his plan. And it's like, yo, they're using you. They don't care about you. And you know what? <sighs> Lelouch made such a great point. You stole the choice from the Japanese people by killing your father. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is so... Oh my gosh, what are they gonna do? What is that? What is that? Who is that? Big Brothers Avalon? What is going on? And so, you know, Suzaku wants to die. Is he gonna use his gears on him? What is that? What is going on? What? What is that? I gotta rewind it back. Bring it back. Okay guys, that was episode 18 of Code Geass and there's a lot to unpack there. Oh my goodness. First things first I wanna bring up is, first of all, die hard. You are overstepping your bounds. You need to stay in your own lane. Stay in your lane, bruh. Put your blinker on before you want to move on into Zero's lane and try to get Callan to assassinate Suzaku at school, bro. Like, who do you think you are? He's doing way too much and he's being so freaking extra. And that little conversation him and Zero had, he, he wants to do too much. It's like, bro, you are not even in any type of military command. What are you over here doing trying to sneak off 
and tell Callan to do something. I didn't tell her to do it. And Callan, first of all, you need to be listening to Zero. So that's the second that's the second thing. I get it. She's so loyal. She felt like that was a good idea and she wanted to do it to help whatever, but uh-uh. If that's not what Zero told you to do, you need to relax. So that's number one. I can see Die Hard and Zero having some tension and issues in the future because that was not that was not okay. That was unacceptable. I get it. And low key, high key, everyone should be thinking, why doesn't Zero want to just assassinate him? That's so much easier. But regardless, second thing is when Zero and Suzaku had their conversation, really Suzaku is a hypocrite, like a real big one. He literally was standing over there like, if you use the wrong methods to get peace, it's meaningless, it's useless. Bro, what do you think you did? That's exactly what he did and that was Zero's point and I'm so glad he called him out on it and told him that because to, in order for you to get peace for Japan, you killed your father and you took away the choice for the Japanese people and to even make the choice themselves for them to want to fight. You need to give people a choice if they want to fight or not. That's up to them. It wasn't up to him. He took the choice away and Zero was just letting him know like... You essentially did the same thing. So how about you and I join up together and you be the real symbol for the Japanese people and you give them that choice to fight and give them a chance to fight back, you know? Because you didn't even allow them to have a chance. And that wasn't, it didn't seem like, it, it kind of looked like it was getting through to him. I think he was thinking about it. But at the end of the day, he was like, I got to follow orders. Like, Suzaku is just, not that he's a robot, what do you call it, like a dog, just, what, you can't think for yourself, bro? And then not only that, he's being so selfish because he wants to die anyway. He feels such guilt from the whole situation with his father. He wants to die anyway. And so then he gets, he gets Zero in his robot and he hears the commander, like, gonna sacrifice him just to kill Zero. Like... He's trying to make a point. They do not care about you. They do not care about you. And here you are doing their bidding like you're their dog, bro. It's just, I, it's just really kind of frustrating. And I understand Suzaku's behavior. It's just frustrating nonetheless because Zero was bringing up some, some good points to him. And, I, you know, for him to think about, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I'm, I'm kind of scared. Like, I, I'm scared about that ending there. Because Yuffie was going to go meet her brother. Right? Nobleman. That was her brother. And her brother gave the order and fired on them, I guess. I don't know. Or, but you know what? There was some weird imagery there with, um, with, uh, uh, Cece. And her eyes started glowing red as if she was controlling a power. And I wonder... If she had some, she can't let Zero die. She can't let Lush, Lelouch die. And you know, she's always stepping in whenever she feels like the situation is getting too much. So I wonder what happened there. Because I clearly saw the ship fire on them. That's what I saw. I just hope Suzaku thinks about what Zero was saying. Because Lelouch wanted to meet up with Suzaku and capture him. Because he felt like he could talk him into joining them, his side. He could persuade him. I don't think there's per any persuading Suzaku. Maybe, maybe now because he heard, he saw that he was going to be sacrificed. But, you know, Suzaku want to die anyway because he feels guilty. You know? And even though the contradiction is there, Zero said the contradiction to him. You literally used the wrong method to attain this peace. So this peace we got right now is meaningless according to your logic. So... I, I wonder if she's not, like, I don't know, I don't even know what, what that was. Like, they fired, we, I know what it was. He fired on them. Did they die? Probably not. But how? What was that? I'm, honestly, I don't know. This man should stress me out. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.